everyone, my name's Allie, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel, Mindful Living. I'm back with a brand new video today, and I'm going to be talking all about how to grow cauliflower in containers. This was planted back in early April, and I finally was able to harvest my cauliflower last week, so I'm going to take you guys week by week to show you exactly how this grew in my container garden, along with a few tips on how to successfully grow cauliflower in containers. Okay, let's get started. This cauliflower was purchased as a transplant, so I just wanted to mention I did not grow this from seed. And like I said, I transitioned it into the garden in early April, so it's been growing for a few months now. If you're planning to grow cauliflower in containers, you want to make sure you're using a large pot that has a width of at least 12 to 18 inches and a minimum depth of 8 to 12 inches. You only want to plant one cauliflower per container. This is a large size container, but I'm only growing one plant. This variety of cauliflower is called Amazing. So this type actually has large outer leaves that wrap up around the cauliflower as it grows. Cauliflower usually matures in 75 days. Mine did take a little bit longer. At this point, I'm just showing you guys the little head of cauliflower that has developed in the middle of the plant. I'd say this was over a month of growth, maybe five to six weeks at this point. Another couple weeks later, the leaves around the cauliflower have gotten really tall, and the point of this is to shade the cauliflower head from the sun. This process is referred to as blanching, and that's just simply when you are protecting the cauliflower from any direct sunlight. The reason you want to do this is cauliflower heads that have been exposed to direct sunlight will start to turn yellow in color, and if you want to keep it a nice white color, you definitely need to provide it with some protection. Throughout the growing process, I did have to clip my leaves together and that was just to provide even more protection to the cauliflower head. And even though the leaves were growing up taller, I was finding it still got a little bit of direct sunlight. So I used a plant clip and just gathered the leaves together and clipped them. Even though you don't want to expose the head of cauliflower to direct sunlight, your cauliflower plant does still need about six hours daily in order to thrive in the garden. Cauliflower is a cool season crop, which means it likes to be planted in early spring or in late summer for a fall harvest. It prefers temperatures between 60 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Maintain a regular watering schedule for your cauliflower and you want to water until it runs out the bottom of your container So it's really important that whatever container you're using has adequate drainage holes This also prevents water from building up in the bottom of your container causing root rot and other diseases here I am showing over two and a half months of growth. So we're almost at that 75 day mark and I'm going to explain how you know when your cauliflower is ready for harvest you don't want to leave your cauliflower too long. I'm going to show you that I did actually leave mine a few days longer than I should have. So when cauliflower is ready for harvest, it is usually anywhere from 6 to 12 inches wide. And you want to harvest your cauliflower before the head starts to separate. Your cauliflower should be tightly packed. And you can see here mine started to separate a little. So near the end of the growing season, make sure you're checking on your cauliflower daily in order to avoid this. I hope if you guys enjoyed learning about growing cauliflower in containers that you'll leave me a like, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.